Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can reassign a character or a text to a different key in Windows. In our case, I was asked how to reassign the add character to a function key. So when I press the F key, the function key, the add character appears on the screen. And we will do that using the free open source software auto hotkey. You can download it here from autohotkey.com. Just download the software and install it in, on Windows. And as you can see here, uh, I've also written a blog post here. You can click the link in the video description. Okay, let's get started. And at the beginning, we just copy here our macro, our script, and I will give you an explanation shortly. And now here on the desktop or somewhere else, we create a new text document. And in our case, I just name it add to F8 because we want to use the F8 key for the add character. And the ending of the file, I will put the, in there AHK, which then will be assigned to auto hotkey. And you can see the type is now auto hotkey script. And now all we need to do is edit this file with a text editor. I will use notepad plus plus and paste in here our script, which is a very simple script. And as you can see here, um, let's close this one here. Um, the first part is the key we want to reassign or we want to execute a certain action when we press this key. So it's our F8 key here. Then we have the send command here, which basically sends send the characters followed here. And in our case, it's just the add sign. We can, of course, type in multiple characters in here, which will then execute or send the text when I press the F8 key. So you can use this also to make certain text templates, for example, for emails. In our case, the add key is OK. So we save the file and close the text editor. And all we need to do now is right click on our script and we have these three options here, run script, compile script and compile script with UI. And let's get started with run script. And if everything works, we will now have this small symbol here in our taskbar, which then means our uh, script is executed and running and we can also terminate it here from the context menu. So if we do not want this behavior anymore, we can just exit the script here. But let's let's test it. So let's open Notepad again, Notepad++, create a new file. And if I now hit the F8 key, you can see that now the add character appears here. And if I terminate the script, this no longer works. And in order to get it working all the time, we can, for example, right click here on our script and compile the script, which will then create an executable file here. And if I start this one here, you can see the symbol appears again and it's working again. And I can use this executable file here, for example, to put it in the startup folder in Windows. So this gets executed every time I start Windows. And so I will have this functionality um, when I start Windows automatically and I can terminate it here. And well, that's it. 